you know, the Sean McDermott comments, very distasteful back in 2019, and he's apologized for those comments. Everyone in Sean McDermott definitely on the hot seat when it comes to the fan base at least <laughs> i don't think he's going anywhere guys the contract is not easy for terry bagula to say you know what i'm willing to chop this off right now then you look at that post game right and you just see brandon bean and the other players basically say we got your back we got your back Terry Bagula is literally in the background smiling and clapping. This team is behind Sean McDermott. So whether you like it or not, Sean's probably not going anywhere for this season, next season. And if it's really, I mean, like something really, really has to like implode next season for him to get the boot midseason. I think that he definitely has earned and he's done enough to get another season as the Buffalo Bills head coach. But watching those post-conferences, Ed Oliver's comments calling people cowards for not coming forth, for leaking that information, but not telling people who they are, which I get right. You're 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 basically tattletelling, but you're you don't want to be you don't want to like let people know. I get it. You want to be anonymous, but like at the same time, like if you're going to hit Sean McDermott underneath of the belt for something that happened, what, what's that, four or five, almost five years ago now? It's just like, you might as well just say who you are. <laughs> and also, like, why now? Why now? It, like, it, it just felt all very strange. And I'm not saying that what Sean McDermott said was okay. Definitely not. <laughs> Definitely not okay. I do not but, co-sign on this. Yes, I definitely do not co-sign about this. And I've seen a lot of crazy memes out there since then. It's just, you know, very creative ones. I'll give you guys that. But There's some good ones. It, yeah, there are definitely some good ones. But all I'm saying is that this team is definitely behind Sean McDermott. I don't foresee him getting the can. He's our head coach. Just, just deal with it. Yeah, for me, you know absolutely wild comparison to make like i don't know how that went through his mind he's like yeah but like yeah i'm sorry to interrupt but like how do you think like back in <laughs> come on dude like it's not like you were 13 and you made that comments you were a grown-ass man and you were like this is it. i'm going to compare the terrorists from 9-11 to success why if you wanted to go down that dark path why didn't you pick any successful bank robbery any other like you know any team effort where you overcame the odds. Why don't you reference the fact that you made the playoffs when you really shouldn't have? Like, literally anything besides that. I, I just don't know. Like, God. Yeah, like, he, Ch was, he was running down all his checklists of, like, uh, Miracle on Ice, man. That one's played out. We got we need something fresh in here. Something nobody's ever used. It's just wild. Um, Shout out to that player that said, like, uh, how do you think who got asked like how do you think they overcame this and he was like uh, what do you think their biggest obstacle was and he was <laughs> TSA. like TSA <laughs> like thank god somebody had like the whereabouts to like you know do something I would have been sitting there like dude that's just weird like I don't know about this guy yeah but, absolutely wild like I said um, with that said it's happened four years ago he's continued Again, running not saying that's okay right right organizationally like it's been dealt with the fact that it came out now is very strange to me um mm. nobody seemed to want to talk about this when we were winning 13 games right so you it comes out at the bye week of like the first year he struggled as a head coach like it's just wild yeah. to me the timing is very strange it feels very hit piece yeah, it feels like it very um targeted. Right. And that's in yeah, it's just I don't know. I don't, I don't like it. And I I will say anybody that's listened to me on this podcast recently, I I've been very kind of meh on McDermott like same. I think he's I think he is a very good coach. I think that that can be true um while needing a change of scenery. I I think we see it with players all the time that they just 
they go to a different team and they blossom. And I, I think that he was the coach that we needed to turn around this franchise to, you know, build that culture build everything up the way he did but that doesn't necessarily also mean that he's going to be the guy that takes you to the promised land and i think that i think that's fine for both the bills yeah. and mcdermott i'm fine if he comes back i'm fine if they choose to move on um all that being said i 100 percent agree with what you're saying like m- might his seat have gotten a little bit warm there for a little bit sure um maybe but i think it would have taken like losing out this year and like you know going seven and ten and missing the playoffs with all those losses and i think he still would have got the start to next season for what it's worth yeah, he definitely um, would probably got the mulligan so yeah so yeah he'll be here 